Now I've actually started to do some juicing here. So you all should have a handout in front of you. And uh, it will uh, have, have the recipes, most of the recipes we're doing in there, if not all of them. And um, the recipes will be up here. This first one here is just a, this is just a generalized um, thing for you. This does not have the specific amounts. I'll get into that here in a second. Um, okay, so the conversation I was just having here is about, you know, what if you have diabetes? What if you don't want that sugar? What if you're, if, you know, that sugar, if you're worried about that, all right? Here's how to address that, is you need to focus on a green juice. So how much sugar is in celery? That doesn't taste very sweet. There's not much sugar in there. How much is in parsley? Not very much sugar in there, right? Um, how about kale? Not very much sugar in there. So if you juice a bunch of green stuff with literally no, like barely any sugar, it's very low glycemic index if you're worried about that for blood sugar issues, and then you just put something else in it to make it palatable for you, a little bit of apple, a little bit of pear, a little bit of something. Um, that's the idea here, is focus on green stuff high water content stuff, and then add something in to make it enjoyable, something you can do every single day, and you'll be good. You don't even have to worry about the glycemic index, all that stuff. Um, I would still tell you that you can, you can drink the fruit juices, and it's fine for you. Um, if you need to adjust your medication or something, maybe do that, but don't not eat the fruit. The fruit's the good thing, the other stuff's the bad stuff. So um, as far as those give you some examples there to, to look through. Um, I, I really, really like leafy greens and herbs when you do this. So while I don't have all this stuff here as far as mint, basil, dill, wheatgrass, stuff like that in here tonight, those stuff, they really, you don't need a lot of them, but they're going to put a lot of flavor for the amount you have in there. You know, if you can grow mint at your house, you can, if you have a garden, you can grow this stuff and you can, eat that way, it's not like you buy this and this costs you two fifty at Shop and Save. I mean, you can have bunches of that growing in your garden you throw in there and it like, doesn't cost you anything. So um, if you want to grow herbs, that's a good way to do it. That way you're not buying them, but they, they add a lot of flavor to it. So stick with your core green stuff. Add whatever combination of herbs and tasty stuff you like in there. Um, and then you add some stuff to, to sweeten it. If you're a person who likes hot stuff, which I do like hot <laughs> stuff, um, and I like, to, I like to push the limit a little bit with things, so I like to put hot pepper in some of the combinations I'll show you tonight. I'm not doing that to you guys. I don't presume that everybody likes to have the hot stuff. But um, what type of pepper? There's these little ones called habaneros. Those are really hot. Um, so I, a lot of times I'll drop one of those in and it's like, it takes 20 minutes to wear off until you can taste again. But you can do that. You can cut a little bit of uh, like a, a raw banana pepper, yellow pepper up. Um, you know, bell peppers are not, not spicy, but you can, you can definitely put bell peppers and stuff. So those are, those are very good things, too. You can get some variety of stuff in here that maybe we're not putting in here tonight. But um, I'm going to teach you one principle as we go, and that's to start simple and then get to the more complex stuff. So um, when you're starting out, it might seem like you can just put anything in there, and it should come out great and go down easy. But you, you want to start with some simple combinations of, of things and, and we'll do that and then start to experiment as you as you learn a little bit more and get familiar with stuff. Alright, so we're gonna start out. We'll start out with the carrot